I have this thing about car keys. I mean, they're not even really keys anymore. It's like carrying a contact lens case around with you all the time, which can totally ruin the pants line of any fashionable suit. It might be different if you actually had to use the key to get into your car. But no, new car wizardry makes things happen with a touch of a handle or a push of a button. Well, now one of those automobile magicians is bringing that tech to home admission. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. Touch technology is all around us. We can use it to navigate our devices, work more efficiently, and even get cash. But securing a home with a deadbolt on a door still requires an old school key, alphanumeric code, or a voice command. And with unlimited deadbolt shapes and sizes, it would seem impossible to create a touch lock device for all of them. Well, meet Kabir Maiga, an auto engineer who designed keyless entry systems for cars and wanted to readapt those innovations for home security. I traveled to Ann Arbor, Michigan to meet Kabir and learn more about his one size fits all shepherd lock. What exactly does your smart lock do? You walk up, touch your lock, it knows you, it would recognize you, that you have permission or your guest that has permission, it unlocks itself, you go in. We didn't want to design a deadbolt itself. So then the question is, how do you get someone's lock that's currently installed on their home to become touch activated? Hmm. That's a puzzle that we had to solve. How exactly does the technology work? All you have to do is remove the knob that's typically inside of the home and you attach our product. Our cover is magnetized, it snaps right on. And that's it. Then you download the app and you hit one button to calibrate. What happens now that you have the app which, by the way, allows you to share keys with the wife, kids, etc. What you do when you come home is you walk up, as long as you got that phone on you, when you walk up, you just touch it. On your phone is a virtual key that gives a door permission to allow entry. The app also lets you unlock the door remotely. So Albert, now we're outside of the house, okay. right? So you could see that deadbolt. So when you come home, you would walk up and just touch your deadbolt, and the product knows you touched it, it knows you have the virtual key, which is stored in this phone, and it unlocks for you. Oh, hold on. People from the outside can't tell that you've done anything that's turned this smart. There's no huge indicator. You got it. The app can alert you if the door is left open, and an auto-freeze function activates if anyone tries to pick or compromise the lock in any way. Ha! Here we go. Now we can go home. Let's go home. Ah. It feels so good to be home. It looks just the way that I left it. Yeah. <laughs>